Hey everybody, it's Tim from Full Spectrum Laser and we're going to be talking today about the differences between CO2 lasers and fiber lasers. So right now I'm standing in front of our PS48 that we use in-house. This guy is a 90 watt CO2 laser. CO2 lasers work on compressed gas in a tube and with most CO2 lasers, they work on a gantry system like this, and that gives you a bit more freedom with uh, bed size. Now, if we go over to fiber lasers, you're gonna be somewhat limited to your bed size. Another great thing about CO2 lasers is the huge variety of materials that you can cut. You can do plastics, fabrics, different kinds of woods, all kinds of different organic material. Now, some of our fiber lasers can cut through metal. But if you need to do that, we're talking a very large industrial size machine like this guy right here. Now we do sell these, but these are a little bit more than your hobby fiber lasers. And they can cut through relatively thick metal, just like that. Now, if we head over into our fiber laser room, When we talk fiber lasers, we're typically talking about something like this. Now remember when I was talking about a little bit smaller bed size, when you're working with this guy, that's about all you've got. And even this is a little bit bigger. We're talking a 4.3 inch square. And with lens upgrade, you can more than double that. It's pretty tiny. But the cool thing is it works on this Galvo head. And basically what that means is there's a little set of mirrors that bounce around inside and move the laser extremely fast. Now, not all fiber lasers are on a Galvo head. Like the one that I showed you out there, our big industrial metal cutter uh, works with a gantry. Um, same with the Muse fiber also works with a gantry. Another thing to keep in mind with fiber lasers, especially ones with the Galvo head, is how quickly you can engrave stuff. The last video that we just showed you is not sped up in any way, it's actual real time. Another thing that we get asked most frequently is what can these cut? Now, fiber lasers aren't typically for cutting unless you're using a big industrial machine like outside. Now you can cut metal, but it's gonna be really, really thin stuff like this and it's gonna take multiple passes to get through. These machines, fiber machines especially, are really just for engraving. Uh, they're really great for engraving metal specifically, so you can do aluminum, copper, stainless steel, titanium, um, and one of the most popular applications for fiber lasers is engraving on firearms. So how does all of this work? Since CO2 lasers and fiber lasers use different sources, they operate at different wavelengths. Fiber lasers operate at a much shorter wavelength, giving you a much higher absorption rate. All that means is when dealing with materials that typically reflect laser beams like metal, it'll absorb fiber lasers at a much higher rate than CO2 lasers. Keep in mind, however, fiber lasers also have a smaller focal point, so cutting through thick materials can be impractical. CO2 lasers are much better for this type of application. That said, due to their smaller focal point, fiber lasers can achieve much higher detail, and when using a Galvo head, they can do so at very high speeds. Another advantage to fiber lasers is their general lack of maintenance needs. A fiber source doesn't need any warm-up time, and they aren't considered consumables, whereas CO2 laser tubes need to be replaced after a few years of use. Most fiber lasers don't use mirrors either, so there's no need for alignment. This advantage is not without a few caveats, however. Due to their solid-state nature, fiber sources are often much more expensive. This is apparent in the cost comparison between the two types of machines. CO2 laser systems are typically much more affordable. We hope this helps clear up any confusion between CO2 and fiber lasers. On my way out of the fiber laser room, I'll go back over all the machines we saw today. Fiber Galvo. CO2 flatbed. Fiber metal cutter and back to our Pro Series CO2. 
So I hope that kind of clears up the difference between fiber and CO2. A lot of people assume that fiber is just kind of like a beefed up CO2 and can just do so much more, but they're really apples and oranges. They're completely different. Um, if you're looking to cut things, definitely go with the CO2. That's what they're built to do. If you're looking to engrave, uh, especially like smaller items, especially metal, definitely go with the fiber, especially the galvo. So if you guys have any more questions, hit us up on social media. You can comment on this video, send us a direct message on Facebook, however you'd like, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. We're always willing to help out. And until next time, guys, keep making.